everybody, welcome back to the World of Warcraft Legion Beta. My name is Necroxus, and I think this actually is the finale of the Warlock class campaign. So let's have a big recap of everything that has happened so far. The expansion opens with the Council of the Black Harvest, which consists of Ritzen Flameskull, Jubeka Shadowbreaker, the Forsaken, uh, Shinfell, whatever her last name is, the Blood Elf, um, Zinnin Smythe, who is the Worgen, uh, who else do we have? Uh, did I forget anyone? Uh, Shinfell, Jubeka, Zinnin, Ritzen, uh, Zellerflax, Zellerflax Wobblepox, who was the gnome that dies at the very beginning. And because Conrathod's events in the Greenfire quest chain got him permanently banished, they needed a sixth member to begin a summoning process that they believed would summon a powerful demon that they could then enslave to use against the Legion. Spoiler alert, it sucked. We summoned Jagannoth, who is a very powerful pit lord who enslaved all of us, took us here to Dreadscar Rift because he wanted to torture us. Uh, thanks to the efforts of your, yours truly, I saved everyone, although even though I did rescue everyone from Dreadscar Rift, um, confronting uh, Jagannoth proved harder than we thought, and all of the council members are lost. Uh, we... We are saved by Kalidus, who is a treasure goblin. I forgot what their, their treasure demon. I forget what they're called in this, but I believe they could just be treasure demon. But he uh, he helped us. He helped us acquire an artifact. For me, I chose the Scepter of Sargeras, stole it right from under Gul'dan's nose. In fact, Gul'dan gave it to me. Um, we attacked Dread Scar Rift once again. We killed Jagannoth with the power of our artifact. And we hung his broken body up on the altar over there. Um, and used his power to subjugate his demon army for ourselves. So then we resurrect Ritson right here, and we set about rebuilding the council. Um, the first thing we do is we try to recover uh, Jubeka, Shinfell, and Zinnin um, with the help of Kira Irisol, who is a, uh, a f the former apprentice of Ritson, who he basically betrayed because she was a member of the Argus Wake. Um, we travel to Niskara, and we discover that that is where our three friends were held. Um, we rescue Jubeka and Zinnin, but we find out that Shinfell had been stolen by somebody. We, he was ta she was taken by Mephistroth, and we don't know what happened. So, with Kira's help and the power of souls, we pulled Shinfell through time and space to us, but found out that she was cursed by a very powerful doom spell from somebody. So, with the help of Ernie the Mad, a uh, Gilnean uh, alchemist, we cure Shinfell, or at least we help her long enough for her to tell us that the culprits responsible for her doom curse are none other than the Eridar twins themselves, who are back after having been killed at Sunwell Plateau. And so now our plan is to summon and enslave the Eridar twins to our will. And with that, we have... Uh, recap the entire Warlock class campaign. It's time to do the finale. Good day to you. I have killed 100 demons and got their blood. We will need to feed the Bloodstone before it will be strong enough to control the Eridar sisters. This should be more than enough blood to satiate the Bloodstone. See you around. Hello. The Bloodstone will grow in power after consuming Cordana's heart. We, we killed Cordana Felsong in the Vault of the Wardens and ripped out her heart, which apparently is corrupted beyond repair, and now we're using it in our ritual. Once this heart is devoured, the Bloodstone will be strong enough to control the Eridar sisters. And we also... Uh, oh, and finally, I forgot to mention, we're looking for another member to join the Council of the Black Harvest who is good at summoning demons. So that is what we've been doing. And um, let's see, our scouting efforts have paid off, hopefully. I have a lead on a warlock who might possess the skills we need to perform the summoning ritual. We should follow up as soon as possible. Finding Fizzlebang. I have a reason to believe that Wilfred Fizzlebang's sister... Oh my. Has made her way to Stormheim. If she has half the power, but at least twice his intelligence, then we might just succeed in summoning the Eridar twins. Find Lulu Bell Fizzbang, Fizzlebang. Very well. In Stormheim. Well, well, well. It looks like, uh. <laughs> we're gonna try again with the Fizzlebangs, because we all know how great Wilfred did in, uh, Trial of the Crusader. With, uh, you know, the whole mistakenly summoning Draxus bit. Oops. So, um, the after our long, exhaustive search, the uh, the fruits of our labor turns out that Wilfred Vizzlebank's sister, Lulubel, is the one we're after. So, I'm going to travel to Stormheim, and we're going to continue on. All right, we're here in Stormheim. Hey. Lulubel Fizzlebang, what's up, girl? Well, hello. 
You're the council's new leader, aren't you? I could tell by your weapon. I bet you have an amazing story to tell about how you got it. My name's Lulu Bell, or Lulu for short. But uh, I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention anyone else that you saw me, okay? Coercing a confession. My location has to be kept secret, at least until I have proof of my innocence. Thanks to the legacy of the family name, anytime some miserable warlock summons demons they can't control, I get the blame. The scene of my latest crime is a nearby cave, where unruly imps and other nasty demons are roaming free. Find the lousy warlock who's responsible. Get him to write a confession. Have a good one. Someone else's mess. A confession alone won't be enough to clear my name. As long as those demons are run amok, people will blame their presence on me. Someone has to clean up this mess that that warlock made. I do it myself, but I can't be placed at the scene of the crime. You could banish them, though. That would do the trick. Hurry back. Sounds good, Lulu Bell. At least you're smart, unlike your stupid brother. Wilfred Frizzlebang, Master Summoner. <laughs> Who died like a bitch. Alright, so we need to find out which warlock is summoning bad shit in this cave? Where? Looks like it's right down here. But how do I get to the cave? I guess I'll just jump down the cliffs. I don't even give a shit. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. Falscale Cavern. Interesting. Alright, so we have to uh, banish eight demons. Alright. Does it mean, like, literally banish like this? Banish! Go! Oh, it does. Banish! Oh, they actually disappear. That's awesome. That's how banish is supposed to work in the lore. Return back to the Twisting Nether, fiend! The hell is Zoarg? What? Uh, get banished, imp! Go! And you as well. Zoarg, Hakkar's minion. Hakkar the Houndmaster? Well, I guess that's not our storyline. Hakkar the Houndmaster, spoiler alert is dealt with in the Hunter Quest chain. But goodbye, demon. Interesting. So I wonder if... Uh, I have to go this way, actually. I wonder if uh, hunters come to this cave, too. They probably come to kill that, that mob. That's why he has an exclamation point and has higher than average health than other mobs here. Get banished. Get banished. I want to banish all these because I think... Oh, the, the, the banish no longer works for it like that after I do this. Uh, who is this? Gallius Meyermore? Can I help you? What do you want, Warlock? Can't you see that I'm busy? You're summoning shit right now, you fucking idiot! Who summoned all these imps? Uh, not me. Definitely not me. Like I told the guards in Dalaran, it's just probably that Fizzlebang girl. Just like her brother always summoning a mess of demons she can't control. Lulubel says you're to blame. She would say that, wouldn't she? Further proof you can't trust the Fizzlebang. Fuck this guy. Confess your crimes. You. I'll kill you. I don't care. I'm the leader of the Council of the Black Harvest. What do you... What do you... Hey. Confess your crimes. Have a great day now. Crimes? The only thing I am guilty of is being the most powerful warlock in Azeroth. Come, minions. Aid me in battle against this accuser. Minions? You are so dead. Do you not... Come, minions, aid me in battle. Have you not hurt? Please, I hope they're killing him. Oh, they're not. Damn it. Stop, please, I'll pen a confession, assuming you didn't break my writing hand. You're fucking stupid imps, bro. Brosif? There we go. So we got the confession. Scrawled in haste, the script is barely legible. Alright, let's go back to Lulabel. And see what she has to say. Zoarg is back. That definitely is a hunter thing. Cool. I'm actually... Hunters were one of the few classes that I was like, I don't know how they're going to work a demon angle into this. Because all of the class campaigns, most of them, involve like a dreadlord or some other demon connection. Obviously, warlocks are all about demons because they're warlocks. But, you know, they're also fighting against Mephistroth, who, you know, is the leader of the dreadlords. Or was. And now that he's back, he probably is again. Um... Uh, mages are dealing with Catherine Atir, who's a dreadlord. Um, Paladins are dealing with Balnazar, who's a dreadlord. Priests, I'm not sure who they're dealing with, but I do know that Balnazar is related to their class campaign, at least in the finale. Um, who else is there? Warriors, I'm, another, another class that I'm not sure about. 
how uh, demons related to them. I'm sure people who play those classes in the beta can let me know. Um, uh, Death Knights, I'm not sure there, but there, the Lich King tells them go fight the Dreadlords. Uh, so anyway, all right, so we're back. Uh, Lulu Bell was here. I just got disconnected, so that's it. What's up? This writing is a bit difficult to decipher, but I think all the pertinent information is included. Armed with this confession, I should be able to prove my innocence and focus on more pressing matters. Thank you, Anacroctus. Your willingness to help an outcast will not be forgotten. Lulu Bell on loan. What you plan to do is pretty risky, you know. Summoning one sister would be difficult enough. But both of them at once, that's just asking for trouble. Luckily, I'm up for the challenge. I'll help you and the rest of the council summon those demons and hopefully restore some pride to the fizzlebang name. Oh, they gave her a voice in the game. She's so adorable. All right. Let's go back to... Let's go back to Dalaran. Ha! <laughs> it was great. I, I honestly was not expecting her voice to be in the game. Especially after I clicked on her and uh, she had the generic gnome. Ignore the slow loading in textures, please. Once again, this is the beta. We're doing it for the story, not for the completeness of the features, which clearly aren't complete yet. But, uh, I believe, after I stop randomly lagging while shit loads in, um, that we're going to the conclusion now. We're gonna go summon, I don't know if we're gonna go to a demon planet or something, or if we're gonna just summon them to Dreadscar Rift. That sounds like a bad idea, summoning them to our place, but, yeah, I mean, you know, it's not my plan. I'm just <laughs> doing it. Alright. Ritson! Look, we have everyone here. Ah, oh, we have the team all together! Shinfell, Zinin, Jubeka, Ritson, Kira is somewhere here still. She has not betrayed us, but she's just gone. Make it quick. With Lulu Bell's assistance, we should be able to complete the summoning. If you mess with Bellfire, you Oh, she's over here. Burned. Oh, here's Kira. She's over here. What's up, girl? You need something? The Bloodstone's ready. Handle it with Kira, Necroxus. Lulu Bell. Interesting. I don't have anyone. I don't have to hide away in shame anymore, and I have you to thank for that. It's a debt I doubt I'll ever be able to repay. Repay, but I'll try. Oh, she's joining me! You can count me yeah! Fight the burning legion at your side. I love you, Wilf uh, Lulu Bell. Friend. I almost called her Wilfred. I have no time for trivialities. It would be best to conduct the summoning on the outskirts of Dreadscar Rift. If things do not go as planned, at least the aftermath will be contained to a small island of land that floats above our order. Hi, it's like I almost just said that. Once the sisters have been summoned, use the bloodstone to enslave them. I'll let the others know it's time to begin. Are we done? Let us make our way to the platform above. Yes, let's do it. Oh shit, the council's all together, boys and girls! Ah! Let's go. I am really excited. I love Warlock. Well, let's do it. I will start the ritual at your command. The twins won't take too kindly to being summoned, so be prepared for a fight. Once they are weakened, use the bloodstone to enslave them. Are you ready to begin? Let's talk to everyone and see what they say. Yeah, what do you want? I'll do whatever it takes to restore pride to the Fizzlebang name. Jubeka? How can I help? I escape one demon world only to dwell within another demon world. At least this one is under your control. Summon with caution, friend. The dark times will pass. Shinfell won't talk to me. Mzenin doesn't speak. Bows his head slightly, silently acknowledging your presence. Kira. Hey there. The council is in good hands with you as the leader. Oh shit! Let's do it. it I am ready. Are we council members and allies? It is time to begin the summoning. <laughs> Foolish warlocks. Summoning what you cannot control. You will meet your death by our hands. I don't think so, girls. We're gonna fuck all you up. Oh, shit! I almost got, uh... Wrecked by... They're using all their abilities from the raid! This is cool. Summon the shadow image, banish it. Get banished, shadow image! Yeah! Uh-oh. Uh oh. All right, cool. Oh, this fire is gonna be. Oh god. Get him! Use the bloodstone. 
Yeah! You've done it. The sisters are yours to control. Sacralash and Alethys will prove to be powerful tools for our order. Let us meet back at the Council's circle. There is much to discuss. Oh, damn. They're straight up just enslaved by me. Okay. What? You did it, Necroxus. The demon twins are under your control. Oh, God, that sound is, uh... Fire beckons. Is not... Is not ending. What is it? I have not witnessed such power since the fall of Ragnaros. Selecting a sixth. With the demon sisters under your control, you have managed to weaken Mephistroth's army and gain a powerful allies for the council. Our work is not done, however. Dreadscar Rift will remain a target as long as the Burning Legion remains. If we wish to protect our new, our new home, we must rebuild the council. Both Lulu Bell and Kira have proven themselves worthy to join our ranks, though only one spot remains as the first of the Black Harvest. The choice is yours. Choose who will become the final council member of the council. Very well. What? Lulu Bell or Kira? Mm, first of all, let's log out and log back in real quick so that shit stops. Uh, who do I pick, though? Welcome, friend. <sighs> it takes many years to rebuild a reputation, only one to tarnish it. I have my work cut out for me, but I will hope that serving on the council will help me, will help towards restoring pride to the Fizzlebang name. Glad I could help. How are you? I can see times are changing. One warlock, no matter how powerful, can't take on the Burning Legion alone. While I'll never believe anything Ritson does is selfless, it's clear that rebuilding the council is the right thing to do. I would be honored to count myself as one amongst the six if you'll have me. Why can't we just make it seven and have both of you? Ah, I don't know which one to pick. Okay. Kira. I mean, we had to help both Kira and Lulu Bell. Um, I guess whose would be more of a selfish decision? Kira, we just were helping her with her experiments. Lulu Bell... We were directly helping her with the problem. So I guess in that argument, Kira gets the point. Who is more powerful? Kira has a bloodstone that can enslave the Eridar twins. But Lulu Bell was strong enough to summon the Eridar twins. I would say summoning is not as powerful as enslaving. Because, yeah, so that's another point for Kira. I gotta go with Kira then, by my own logic. Lulu Bell, I love you, girl. I, love, I just Hello. met you. But I gotta pick you. See you around. She gonna say anything? Lulu Bell gonna say anything? She gonna be mad at me? Time is money, friend. Nope, she won't. That's oh, okay. Ritson. I have no time. And so the choice is made. I get the title finally. If you mess with Bell, let us gather and give our oaths. Okay. Our leader has done what no other could do. The Council of the Black Harvest lives once again. Under the first, our power will reach new heights. Hooray! The secrets of the Burning Legion will be ours to unlock. For honor and glory. Let me that title. Give me that fucking title. I am the Netherlord! That's fucking right, I'm another lord. Grand Warlock Alethes, what's up, girl? What do you want? Your wish is my command. It is my pleasure to serve. It is my pleasure to serve. How can I be of service? There, they become my followers! I knew that already, but I'm still excited! We live to serve you, Necroxus. It would please us to do your bidding. Our will is yours to command. That was cool. I think the only thing I'm a little disappointed about is their fight. The fight with them was really fucking easy. I don't even think the mechanics were working all the way yet, which probably helped. The fire patches on the ground weren't hurting me at all. But, um... So, we have completed... Where's the achievement? We have completed the Class Order campaign. Now, I know that... Um, Blizzard flat out said we're planning on continuing the Class Order campaign for every class in the subsequent patches. So, the only thing I can say that disappointed me about it was that we did not see Conrathod. He wasn't even mentioned. But Jubeka had to stay 
in Black Temple at the summit to keep him banished. And now that she's no longer there, he should be able to break free, I think, or at least escape. So I really hope that I was hoping that he would show up at the finale and maybe he was the one who had summoned maybe he was working with the Legion and he had he had been like helping um the Eridar twins screw over Shinfell and we fight him or we at least see him. But I'm hoping that uh that Blizzard includes him in the story beyond that. In fact, I'm gonna actually make a thread on this. I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna put a link to that thread in the comment in the description below. If you think that Conrathod, the main villain of the Warlock Greenfire quest chain, and the coolest fight, and in my opinion, the most, uh, the best accomplishment I felt like I've ever had in this game was beating him. If you think like I do that he should be included in the Warlock class campaign, now that Jubeka is no longer constantly keeping him enslaved as a villain in the 7.1 or 7.2 Warlock campaign continuation, then please... Go down below. You don't have to be in the beta. You don't even have to be um, subscribed, at least to my knowledge. You don't have to be subscribed. I'm not, I don't think you have to be in the beta, but please go down and sign my petition. Uh, it's going to be on the official forums. Um, let me know your thoughts, or let, let Blizzard know your thoughts about that on the th- on the, the thread that I'll have linked. But other than that, thanks for watching, everyone. We have finished the Warlock class campaign. I am stoked. Um... I know there's some more stuff we can do, but it's more mainly related to the zone stories. But um, until then, I can actually have a combat ally again, which is cool. But thanks for watching, guys. Let me know how you felt about the Warlock class campaign. I loved it. Um, The last fight, like I said, was too easy in my opinion. But other than that, if the goal of the class campaign is to make you feel like this is what it is to be that class, I felt like this is what it is to be a Warlock. And it was fucking great as a 12 year player of warlock i've had my warlock for 12 years and this was a great like culmination of what it means to be a warlock so thanks for watching everyone i'll see you next time stay tuned for more beta goodness and yeah thanks again farewell